When the rabbis spoke, he never talked about God. Even in this conservative synagogue, it felt more secular than it felt like we were really worshiping God. It felt fake. There was no foundation there for me. And it wasn't like I was searching for God, but, but why go if you don't really believe? It doesn't make sense, does it? Growing up, kind of secluded, I thought that you were either Jewish or you were a Christian. I didn't know much about the Bible, even as a Jew, even having been bar mitzvah, I was reformed. So we had celebrated Passover and Yom Kippur and, and other holidays, but my father wasn't religious. He wasn't really a great believer in God and, and I think more of a cultural Jew. So after my bar mitzvah, I said to my dad, Dad, I'm finished with synagogue. It's over. I'm not going anymore. In high school, the thing that I really enjoyed were girls. I loved to date. I dated from a, a young age. So when I was 18, I went to the movies and I saw this movie called The Greatest Story Ever Told. And I can't tell you what happened. There were no bombs going off no whistles, no anything. Nothing happened except I walked out and I believed that Yeshua, Jesus, was the Messiah. I don't ever remember having met a Christian person. Nobody ever shared with me their faith. I'm Jewish, <laughs> you know, that just doesn't happen. But I walked out a believer in, in Yeshua. All of a sudden, I had this passion for God. I had this passion for other people to know God. I had this passion for reading the Bible, which I hadn't done. It was such a, a change in my spirit, in, in my mind, in my heart. And so I started reading the book of John in the New Covenant. And I was so enamored, I, I, I just was amazed with the love of Yeshua and the teachings, how he taught uh, this idea of, of loving your neighbor and, and being able to give your life for someone else. Uh, it, it just touched me at my core. I think one of the most difficult things to get over as a Jew is that there's only one way to God. But as I started looking at scripture and I realized that there was only one way in Egypt for the firstborn not to die, which was to put the blood of the lamb over the doorpost, that's equally unfair. <laughs> and I thought, okay, there's a foundation for this. There's a foundation at Yom Kippur that there's a way to receive atonement and there are other ways that people think about, but there was only one way to receive God's atonement. I realized that it's natural, that there is only one way to receive atonement for our sins, and that is the final lamb, the final atonement. You have a father who loves you, but you have a second father who loves you even more, and you have to receive his love. So I want you to understand that Yeshua is the Messiah because he is the way we get to the Father to share that love. And when you receive Yeshua, he will fill your heart with love and he will take away and push out the infirmities and you will feel life, you will feel whole.